Hello, my name is Mr. Marcius and you're watching the Not So Berry Challenge. As you can see, we are in Creator Sim right now. The last episode I recorded, nothing interesting happened. It turned out to be just grinding. So basically the only thing I did was finish the milestone of the serial romantic aspiration. Omaira did kiss four more Sims hands. I think we watched enough of Omaira kissing around, right? At the end I wanted to make Nora age up by herself, basically have her birthday forgotten. However, the game just wouldn't allow me to do that. She went two days over her birthday. At the end I did bake her a cake and we're here now. This is Nora as a teenager. She is still heavily influenced by Omaira and her career. Omaira wants Nora to be the perfect daughter of the president. Of the future president of course. And slowly but surely Nora is getting sick of it. But we'll explore more about that later. Please let me know what you think about Nora. I personally think she looks so much like her father. Do you see any resemblance to the not so berry line? And yeah, with that little update, we are ready to head into the game. So let me quickly show you. Here we have the serial romantic aspiration and we are on the last milestone. We only need to earn gold on three more dates and then we are done with generation rows for now. There is still that one more assignment we need to do, or one more rule, and it is that Omaira needs to get married as an elder. And she already, I think, kind of chose who she wants to get married to. As we can see here, she wants to get engaged to Vincent. This is the celebrity boyfriend, and I am definitely not surprised. She still cares a lot about influence. Oh, I was wrong, she also needs to master the politician career. <laughs> we need to secure six more votes. Oh, and with Nora's birthday, we can also secure her vote. I wonder if she is going to give it to us. Let's try to do it. Political career, secure vote. Why she said? Oh, because we broke up with... Uh, who did we break up with? Oh, we broke up with Jets, yes. Okay, we have Nora's vote. That's good. We need five more. We went to work three or four times and the game simply does not want to give us the promotion. I guess until we don't have votes. Did we ask the butler? Let me try to secure his vote as well. Can I not? Political career, secure vote. Thank you very much. Oh and yeah, that's Nora in the game. As we can see in the past few days, she did kind of... I don't even want to say forget about her grandma dying, but she came to terms with it. She is feeling a lot better. Oh, Shingo does not want to give us his vote. Um, we're gonna have to have a talk. But yeah, if you want to see the whole grind with the kissing and want to see the animation of Nora aging up, I can post it at the end of the next episode. I'd be glad to do it. As I mentioned, I did record it. I simply don't think it was a interesting episode. Omaira, you're feeling quite tired. Why don't you go to sleep right now and we'll see what we can do with Nora. Oh, we have to change the thermostat to cooler. I don't even know where I put it. Oh, there it is. Set thermostat to cooler. As I mentioned, Nora is still very heavily influenced by her mother, so I'm gonna have her do her homework. She needs to stay on top of the class. don't even remember if she was on top of the class... Well, she was a B student. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I completely forgot since I aged up Nora. She now got the clumsy trait. The only trait that is missing is the ambitious trait that she is going to get once she ages up into a young adult. And she got the nerd brain aspiration. We need to finish reading three books and achieve a level three of the logic skill. I'm gonna read the full rule set once we start with Generation Yellow. I mean, technically, we already did start, but not really officially. Omaira doesn't really want to sleep and she is really angry right now. Her emotions are all over the place all of the time. The emotion quirk bomb is really annoying. But then again, I really think it fits Omaira as well. 
I think what I'm gonna have right now is a Nora read a book and what can we do with Omaira? She does want to go uh, have a drink at the lounge. Should we do that? Thankfully, we don't have to meet any new sims. She doesn't have to be romantic all that much anymore. Simply three dates and then we are done. So maybe she should invite Vincent uh, to a nice little drink and try to achieve the golden date. It's too bad that it doesn't count the previous date because we did have one golden date with Jet and this would make my li life so much easier because sometimes the tasks that you need to do are straight up annoying. Okay, Nora finished reading a book, that is good, so I guess we can head out now. Omaira, why don't you invite uh, Vincent on a date? Oh, uh, let's first contact the PR agency, request a good story and after that we are going to invite on a date. Okay, the only place I could have found that is indeed a lounge is uh, this right here. So let me order drinks for group. That would be fine. Um, what are we going to do? I don't know, zebra fizz? I don't care. And as we can see, our goals are sit and talk to your date, flirt with your date and socialize with your date is our main goal. I don't even see our goal. Oh my god, everyone is going to be probably calling him over. Oh, why is he sad? No. This is going to make our lives a lot harder. But anyways, hello, Vincent. Would you like a drink? Let's compliment his outfit. Uh, we also need to joke with our date. Okay. Prom is starting. No, we are skipping the first prom. She isn't even in school yet. She didn't even have her first day. So we are going to be skipping that for now. Let's tell outrageous story to Vincent. What else can we do? Tell joke about professors? Why about professors? I don't know, let's do a good old knock-knock joke. And we'll also do a impression of him. I don't even remember what his traits are. Let me check it real quick. He's a bro, he's neat, and the third one is unknown. Wait, what? Have deep conversations with your date. Okay, we're gonna do that as well. Of course, we are also going to line up some of the romantic interactions as well. Chris Cheek... Uh, what? Chris Cheek uh, also compliment... No, blow a kiss. So we also work on our fame. It is still very important to Amira. So yeah, that's what we are going to be doing. Flirt with your date while flirty. Well, that's going to be a bit harder since Amira is really, really playful. Why can't I find deep conversations once again? Oh, kiss neck. Also fame. We are going to be definitely doing that. Um, deep conversation, please. Yep, deep conversation. Great. Um, Vincent, do you also want to help us with our career? We would be really, really thankful. We need the votes. We still need five more. And that's a long way to go. Oh, he's a genius. That's cool. And we have his vote. And we also got a gold on the date. And as we can see, he's completely, totally into Amira. So let me know, do you want these two to get engaged or should we explore some more? Who else we are going to find? And fact is we need to break up with a lot of sims as well. Okay, uh, time to end the date. Thank you so much. It was amazing. We only need two more golden dates. But for now, time to head home. Omaira is really tired. And we are back. Omaira, please head to bed right away. And Nora, what I might have you do is, of course, watch through the telescope. Maybe you can moon gaze. Dream about what one day you are going to fulfill. Right now it's just a dream, but maybe one day it's going to become reality. Do you remember just last episode you were a child looking through the telescope? And now you're actually working on your, what is it, logic skill or... I don't even know. Yeah, it's logic skill. Great. So this is also going to help us with our nerd brain aspiration. Acquired the logic skill. Nora's new skill in logic will allow her to play card games, chess and use scientific equipment. As the skill increases, the chance of winning games is also increased and new interactions will become available on the microscope and observatory. 
Oh, Myra woke up. What are you up to today, oh Myra? What could we do? You want to kiss someone? Okay. You want to be romantic all of the time? I get it. Maybe you should spend some quality time with your daughter. I'm sure it's also a bit for appearances, but... You know, Nora and you really didn't spend so much time up until now. So maybe the two of you can go and grab dinner maybe tonight? I feel like that would be really adorable. Oh, and with Master and Charisma, we got the option to negotiate a, I think, a raise? A bonus in her politician career. So we are going to try out that. I think I've never tried out, out that option. So let's see what we are going to get. Probably more money. I think she succeeded whatever she wanted. Oh yeah, 924 simoleons. They liked what Omaira had to say. Omaira got a one-time cash bonus and is closer than ever to being promoted. Well, we are really close already oh no and why did the butler fix the toilet nora has to work on her handiness skills so this would have been really useful but okay whatever can we somehow tell him not to repair things where is he stop repairing object objects that is really useful and i am really happy about it oh let's discuss fears with him so we get rid of this freaking discuss fears after fulfilling ones no, you're just gonna ignore me. Okay, thank you. Nora woke up. No, please don't eat cake. Well, I don't know why I just hate cakes in here. Um, uh, Let's see what else we've got. Probably nothing. No, we don't. Why don't you grab a quick meal? We're gonna grab a ham and cheese sandwich for breakfast. And maybe we were lucky so the butler cooks something for lunch. I think we're gonna head out really soon. Uh, let me have Omaira bathe first. And then we're gonna head out for dinner or late lunch well by the time they get their meal it's probably going to be dinner even though we did saw a few episodes ago that the date omaira had actually went pretty well surprisingly well omaira is done so let's travel of course with nora let's find a nice restaurant and we are here at the beautiful rooftop garden restaurant uh omaira could you ask for a table and I've just remembered I was already here. I don't remember if it was with Omaira or with Melissa. And I don't remember them having to wear formal. But then again, this is an opportunity for Omaira to show her power. And we can see that Nora definitely hates it. It's like, oh my god, why did we have to come here? And why do I have to wear this stupid dress? simply to go out for a dinner it doesn't make any sense and of course she is a loner so that's why she's even more bothered by it we're gonna right away order for the table because we know that it is going to take a long time before it comes i wonder what these two are actually gonna be talking about we can see that Omaira isn't really that impressed it's like okay i got her here to hang out and yeah how school and we can see that Nora is like, I, I don't want to talk about school. Why did you even have to bring me here? We could have been at home, chilling, reading a book. But no, you have to bring me to this place and post a picture of us. It's all about followers, isn't it? And Omaira is like, you don't understand. You really don't understand the business. For my career, exposure is really important. But they are sitting all of the time. That is simply unbelievable. I'm not sure what happened, but I like it. Oh, there is Bristol and Vlad. <laughs> that is so amazing. Bristol was our butler and she probably quit after she married Vlad. So I find this so great. Merit seems actually go on dates. Oh, and we got our order. Why is her meal there? Okay. I think it may have to do something with the chair not being next to the table. That's unfortunate. Okay, I guess I found one glitch. She doesn't really want to go to the bathroom and we're gonna have a problem with that. She ate enough, so I think the best thing is for these two to head home. It's already really late. Tomorrow is Nora's first school day and Omaira is gonna go to work, of course. And what we are definitely going to be doing in this episode is heading with Nora to school. 
I don't think we're gonna be doing it every day, but from time to time we are going to go to school with her. 6 a.m. Time to wake up the girls and get them ready for work and school. Is Amira going to get the promotion today? I think she still needs to get the four votes. And how is Nora's first school day going to go? I am really excited about it. <laughs> When she wants to be friendly with Omaira. Even though Omaira wasn't really the greatest mother, she still wants to get closer to her, which is really nice. I mean, at the end of the day, she only has Omaira right now. School for Nora starts in about an hour, and what about work for Omaira? Don't tell me she's okay, good. I was afraid she has a free day today, that wouldn't be good. Oh, uh, Omaira, could you please turn off the thermostats to warmer? After you are done cleaning up, uh, let's have you dress for school. Let's try this outfit as well. And this is just for appearances in front of Omaira. Let me know which one you like better, this one or the one before. I cannot really decide, both of them are really preppy, but this one is more yellow. And they are saying goodbye before heading to work and school. I find it really cute and you have a sim about to go to class. Would you care to join her or should Nora go alone? Let's join her. And the first day of school has just begun. Let's see what we have to do. Learn about new school from the principal. Hello, principal. How are you doing? I see that you are flirty. Uh, we would like to learn about the new school. What can you tell us about it? Learn about new school. Welcome to Copper Day High School, Miss Barry. I hope you settle in without too much trouble. We have two periods, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Otherwise, we give, we give our students the freedom to interact and socialize with their peers and to study at their own pace. You'll be in class one. You should go find your teacher and say hello. Keep in mind, there are exams every Friday. You can find your way to a computer to study for your exams or even just pull out the notes and prep that way. Our faculty will also hold study sessions after school on Wednesday. Uh, I feel like the first thing Nora is going to do is change her outfit. Oh, maybe we can first claim a uh, locker ownership. Oh, Bristol, you want to hang out with me? Uh, I cannot right now. I'm kind of in school. But yeah, we have claimed our locker and now we are gonna go and change the outfit. Wait. Uh, because Nora does want to get more comfortable. She hates the outfit that her mother has said she has to wear. And now let's head into our classroom. Am I in the class? Nope. No, 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 no. Stay sitting here. We don't want the principal to see you. I'm not sure why it isn't working. And these are our classmates. Later on, we are going to introduce ourselves to some of them. Look, Blakely! That's probably Dusty's son. We definitely need to befriend him. Yang, I feel like we're going to introduce ourselves to her as well. You're really pretty, Suzanne. She isn't officially in class. This is um rather problematic. But since she is here i'm just gonna right click this i'm not sure what's going on and it came back i'm not sure why but okay we're just gonna ignore it technically we are here we aren't doing anything else so yeah just stay here learn let's pretend you're learning be friendly with the student okay let's friendly introduce ourselves to does this son and maybe yang as well well i think this is going to be too much people for my uh, for nora but we'll introduce ourselves anyway she has great impression of luke fun to be around immediately upon meeting this sim nora has the distinct feeling that they're good tempered and fun to be around that is really good and she perceives him as attractive how does she perceive Yang? Oh, pretentious. This sim seems to be a rather pretentious person. Are you like the popular kid in the class? Let's talk about dreams with Luke and what else can we do? Discuss interests? Let's try to get to know him. He is already really dear to my heart since he is the son of the Dusty. Where are you going? You are our only friend. <laughs> Don't go. Oh, thankfully she is attending the class by herself. 
we don't have to do anything. We're definitely not gonna have a huge circle of friends. Just a tiny group where Nora feels really good. It's not the easiest lesson to learn for some sims, but there are some important anatomical lessons to be learned by dissecting a frog. There are also plenty of jokes that could be made at the frog's expense, of course. With a little tap and some flailing like arms, Nora could make the frog dance. Um. Leave the immaturity out of the classroom. Nora lets the moment of impulse pass and wonders how she might have thought that would have been a good idea. Instead, she focuses on the lesson. Thank you very much, Nora. Oh, and we have reached a logic level 2. She can now collect plant samples and analyze them under a microscope. And she can also discuss logic with other sims. I think the school day was pretty fine. Uh, we cannot forget before heading home to change the outfit. The teachers have collected homework and dismissed their students. Some sims are still hanging around, but everyone is free to head home. After noting how students perform performed on their homework and in class, here's how everyone did. Nora turned in some good work and took some good notes today. Should we say goodbye to Luke and then head home? We'll ask him how his day went and yeah, this will then be it. Did you learn a lot today? Oh, Amira is calling us. So I found a ring in Kiyoshi's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I, I don't know what to do. Should I say yes? No? Um, You should really decide for yourself. What do I want? I don't know what I want. I wanted you to decide for me. It's it's obvious I can't count on you for huge and impactful life decisions that don't really concern you. Thanks for nothing, Nora Berry. You're very welcome, Omaira Berry. Okay, as pleasant as this interaction is, I think we should head home now. Should we make a social bunny or would Nora avoid it? What do you think? Oh, throughout the conversation, Nora got the impression that Luke finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Uh, and Omaira didn't get promoted. Okay. Luke finds Nora attractive. Thankfully, this time we've got a lot of time to figure out what Nora wants. Is Luke the right for her? Are they going to get along? It is going to be a slow burner for sure. What an eventful episode. I enjoyed it so much. I hope you have as well. I'm really excited for Generation Yellow. Not only because yellow is my favorite color. I think Nora is going to be amazing. Thank you very much for watching. Share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, goodbye and have a lovely day.